it's time to hop on our high horse, just like Elaine, and we're going to talk about High Lord. So what does High Lord do? So Lord class on Elaine is arguably one of the better classes in the game, and High Lord is no different. In fact, I think it's basically Lord, but better. Now it does have horsey weakness, which means that certain things can target it, like Griffin Knights and things like this, Griffin Masters or whatever they're called. The Griffin Boys, the Griffin Bros. You gotta watch out for those Griffin Bros to some degree, whereas before you really didn't. Uh, they typically won't kill you because you can block their attacks, but if you just kill them before they can attack you, you don't have to worry about it, which is really the name of the game, I think, for endgame. Just kill them before they can attack you, and then you don't have to worry about Griffin counters. So the health is decent, uh, physical attack is decent, magical attack is decent, similar to Lord. Uh, he kind of can run either weapon type, which is kind of nice, so he can switch weapons as needed. His evasion is seemingly above average. The accuracy is quite good, the initiative is decent. Uh, so let's look at the details. So sword, shield, cav, so he finally has a weakness. Before he was sword, shield, infantry. Uh, he now deals two times damage to infantry, which is nice. So if he does big attacks, especially to infantry, which is like most of the enemies, he's gonna deal pretty big damage. 300 mobility now, five stamina, cav, but he still maintains his gain more valor points when defeating enemy units, making him a very good party leader. Now for the rapport bonuses for this particular team, he gains some evasion, accuracy, crit, and magic attack. So depending on what you wanna run him on, like you could run him on Runic Blade, but his skills, are kind of crazy. So, all right, first of all, let's go over all the skills. So Lean Edge, Cab Slayer, these are things from Lord. Lean Edge allows you to heal and then you heal more. And this is based on your max HP. So if you have 100 HP and you use Lean Edge, you'll heal 25. If you have, um, you know, 100 HP and you kill, you'll heal 50. So that's basically how it works. Cab Slayer, it inflicts Guard Seal, AP minus one, passive point minus one on Cav does decent damage. It's really good at shutting down enemy cabs and disabling them. Uh, but the big thing here, I think, is spinning edge. This is absolutely ridiculous, this attack. So <laughs> when you first read this, you're thinking, okay, what are we looking at here? 60 potency, two attacks, all right, 120 potency. Attack a row, so row attack for 120, ignores 50% of target's defense. This is the thing that makes it crazy. Ignores 50% of target's defense and grants the user plus one passive point if the target is defeated. Now, I'm going to show you the combo I use with this in a second, uh, but he also has Noble Guard, activates before being hit by a physical attack. That's when he's about to get hit. Block enemy attack with Medium Guard, grants the user plus 20% defense, uh, grants the user plus one passive point if you're at 50% HP or less. This is nice because if you're at half or below, he just refreshes it, it refreshes itself. Uh, luminous cover, cover an ally, grant that ally plus 20% defense. Uh, rapid order. This is a good ability, but I think in certain team comps, it's not really worth using. So there's usually better at the start of battle abilities, but you can switch to this if it matters. So it is nice to use. Uh, plus 20 initiative is a big deal. Uh, but typically, especially if you're running Rosalind in your team, her at the start of battle ability is way stronger. But this is nice if you're not running something else with a competing at the start of battle trigger. It's still really good. Uh, so, all right, so then we have Holy Guard. He can do this, this is from his, his shield. Uh, Astro Blade is from the ring, Hawkeye is from another item. All right, and then the order skills the same, Valorious Order, increase damage dealt by 20%, reduce damage taken by 20%, grant first strike to all allies within range, lasts for one battle. This is fantastic for pushing bosses, especially if you need just a little bit of damage to kill in one stamina use, and then Royal Order just doubles XP. Uh, for an allied unit for two valor points, uh, but order is really good for pushing Similar to you know early game. It just never really falls off. It's just always about it's always relevant It's always good. All right, so let's look at the build. I'm running on him. So a whole unicorn blade is The weapon you get when you get s rank Renown uh, well, you don't get it right away You have to beat a fight and this is the team I use to beat that fight you have to beat a fight at a specific location uh, it's near, I guess I can show it after we fight this guy, but it gives you base AP and PP plus one, uh, and you have debuff immunity. Now the debuff immunity is massive because you no longer can be affected by shutdown conditions, 
So certain things that would shut you down, like elven, or not elven archers, the uh, angel archers that inflict blind when you attack are just no longer a factor. And you also just gain a huge amount of resources through your sword, which is fantastic, because then you can run whatever else you want as your additional weapons. I like Holy Knight Shield on him because it has good defense and guard rates. It also heals plus 10% when using active skills, so every time he uses an active skill, he chip heals, which is very nice. Uh, Ring of the Unicorn, when you get married, you get uh, base AP plus one and then all stats plus five. So that's just a flat out increase to everything, it makes him effective. It also helps him with initiative, so he's a little bit faster. And then we have Sniper Amber Lens, which is accuracy plus 20. Hawkeye makes your next attack a true strike and a, grand, a guaranteed crit. This is probably one of the most broken row attacks. 50% ignoring, like ignoring 50% of the defense and then getting a crit on that is pretty ridiculous. 120 potency is pretty decent as well, but 50% defense ignore is huge damage with crits. And then also for fun, I have him getting inspirationed by Gambler's Coin. So plus 30% more attack and plus 50% more crit damage. So typically, if the enemies are at full health, he can kill them. All right, now he should be able to get this off. So let's check it out. And then I'll show you the location of the, the unicorn sword. So it's very important. So Rage of the Fairies, I would say, is more valuable. It's a row stun with damage. Offensive order. All right, here's his big attack. Hawkeye, Inspiration, Spinning Edge. All right, so huge damage. It almost killed things that were guarding, which isn't bad. And then we wide sweep on that. And then Elemental Roar should clean up everything. Look how much damage she does, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Rosalind is insane. All right, let's go look at that location. So it is right, it's in between this and that fort. Why am I not on a horse? Get on a horse. All right, here is where you get it from. Right here. And you have to beat a pretty difficult fight. Uh, but this is the team I was using to get it. So a similar build, except for this weapon, I had something else. Now he can do this twice. He can do this combo twice and he get inspiration twice too, as long as I disable a guard order. So he can do that twice, and then she also has Mirage Stab, so row attack times two, row attack times one, uh, counter, or I'm sorry, follow-up attack, that's a row attack times two, board nuke, followed by a uh, huge single hit times one, and then he has uh, two banishing stabs, so he has two like chip damage pokes. So typically, if like the big attacks don't kill, something will clean it up, but in this case, the sniper lens build is pretty good. Now against those horses, they did block the attacks. So they prevented him from getting huge damage off by blocking, but against most things, especially things that don't block, he typically will kill them with the initial thing. And he's not even meant to. I really just have him attacking to like waste some of their blocks or to, you know, waste some enemy debuffs to open up for her to do her board nuke. Uh, he also could run something else, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the High Lord. I do recommend running it. It's probably one of the best classes in the game long term. I mean, I'm about to beat the game on True Zenoiren, and it's been consistently stomping and generating tons of valor. And this team I've had almost no issues with ever. They've been basically consistently really good. So if you want to duplicate this team, feel free to do so. Uh, she's on a little bit of crits on this. She could be on a better shield, though, for more defense. But you Frost Tome this for the board nuke, which is huge. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Peace.